Hey guys, what is up? Today we look at Jesse Lingard. Now, the first of all, I want to say I was shocked that this guy retained an 82 rated card after the way he's been playing for Manchester United. However, however, I did watch Chew Boy's video where he said Jesse Lingard is a beast. And I was like, huh? In the game? So then, today we're going to have a look at if that is true or not. We're going to test him out. Now, I have bought him. He doesn't actually play for my team, but I've just put him in temporarily just to see if he's any good. And I'm telling you something. Chew Boy was right. Jesse Lingard is a beast. His attack positioning and shooting and dribbling and his agility make him a very, very good player. Also, he's four-star, four-star, if I'm right in saying, which makes him really good. I'm sure he's got four-star skills. And I tell you what, in cam, he was absolutely brilliant. It was like a gem. I mean, his attack positioning was amazing. He was getting into the right positions. He was playing really good one-twos, one-twos with Jamie Wardy. So there was a lot about Jesse Lingard that I really, really liked. Like, the only side where I thought, oh my God, is he so weak, is incredible. You touch him, he falls over. But... But the question is, is he good? And I'm not lying to you, for his price around, I think he, when I bought him, he was for about 5,000 coins. I have to say he is brilliant. Not only was he assisting, he was scoring, he was doing playmaking. Everything about him was fantastic. I loved him. The only thing, like I said, the downside was his physicality. I didn't like that. But besides that as well, he was very clinical at goal. He didn't, he hardly ever missed. And I'm telling you, Jesse Lingard is one of them cheap gems that you can pick up. Honestly, he is fantastic. I highly recommend. I, I, I highly recommend you pick this guy up because Jesse Lingard, as soon as he passes, he makes that deadly run. And that is, that is an exquisite finish there from Jesse Lingard. So this is what I'm saying. You know, sometimes stats don't tell all the story. What you want to do is you want to you want to judge a player on how they play, not on their not on their stats. You want to look at their runs. You want to look at the way they dribble. You look at the way they shoot. You look at the way they are, if they are clinical or not. And I just feel like Jesse Lingard wasn't just scoring himself. He was helping my team to get better as well. And that's rare, really. That's what Zidane did. And that's why I think Zidane's one of the greatest players of all times. The French team without him was like a cake without no cherry. But then when Zidane was there, he made the team tick. He made the team believe. And I feel like Jesse Lingard, I, I hate to compare Zidane to Jesse Lingard. Of course, Jesse Lingard is not even one of the foots of Zidane. Zidane, Zidane's, Zidane's hair is better than Jesse Lingard. But what I'm saying is... Jesse Lingard in the start of FIFA could be your cheap version of Zidane. He's actually that good. He was fantastic. Honestly, he was helping He was helping all my team score. He was assisting. He himself was scoring. So yeah, Jesse Lingard's going to get a flat out 9.2 out of 10 because for his price, I think he does an unbelievable job. And I don't think there's many better comes than Jesse Lingard for under... 5,000 coins. I genuinely don't think there is. So Jesse Lingard's got that appeal of being cheap and cheerful. Yes. Well done, Je uh, Jesse Lingard. You were brilliant. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and peace out.